Tuples in Elixir are collections that can hold different types of values and are typically used for fixed size collections. Tuples are handy for grouping a fixed number of elements and they can mix different types. Let's go ahead and open up our terminal and start our Elixir shell with lowercase iex. So to create a tuple, it's always uh, values between two curly braces, no percentage sign in front of them, that is a map. And then we can have any values that we want. So we can do one, we can have an atom in there, uh, we can have a string in there, and that is, that's a tuple. So like I said, defining tuples is pretty straightforward with curly braces. And so you do things like one, two, three curly brace, that is a tuple. And then you can also even do like an atom okay. And then you could have data here and that is a tuple as well. So to get elements out of a tuple, we can use the Elm Arity2 and indexing starts at zero. So for example, if we did uh, Elm and then inside of parentheses, we create our tuple. So let's say we have an atom okay, and then we have data again, and then close off those curly braces, and then you want to pass in. So Elm takes two arguments. The first one is our tuple, and the second one is the index we want. So if we want index one, we will get data back. Now remember, tuples are immutable. So to change a tuple, you are actually creating a new one. And to add items to a tuple, you can use put elm arity3, and that would look like this. So put elm, and then we can just uh, have our existing tuple, one, two, three, uh, close those curly braces. And then the, the second argument we pass in is the index we want to insert the new value on. And then the third one is the actual value and it can be mixed. So we'll pass in an atom here and now we replaced element zero. And then we can also find out a tuple size with a tuple underscore size. And this is just arity one. So it just takes a tuple. So if we pass in one, two, three curly brace, we'll get three back. So tuples give you quick access to elements, but aren't great for growing or shrinking. It would be better to use a list for that. It's good to know how tuples differ from lists though. So tuples are fixed size and diverse in element types, while lists are more dynamic and generally homogeneous. So they're all the same type. So a list would be all integers or all strings or all tuples. Uh, but tuples are great for when you need to return multiple values from functions or when you're dealing with structured data. You'll, you'll often see like response data with tuples. And then, so tuples are stored contiguously in memory, which allows for fast access. You can also convert between tuples and lists. So we can say uh, list dot two underscore tuple, and then we can pass in a list of one, two, three, and that is a list inside the square brackets and it will return a tuple. And then we can do the reverse. We can say tuple dot two underscore list. And then we can send in one, two, three inside of curly braces and we get a list back. Now, some common functions in the tuple module are append. So we can do things like tuple dot append. And this takes two arguments. First, the tuple that we want to add a value to the end with, which we could do one, two. And then the third one is what gets appended to the back side. And now we'll have a tuple with one, two, three. And then you also have delete at. So tuple dot delete at. And then let's say we have our tuple one, two, and three. And then whatever you want to delete, uh, let's say you put the index number here. So this will delete two. And now we just have a tuple with one and three. We also have insert at, and that looks like this. So tuple dot uh, insert at, and then we pass in our tuple of one, two, and three. And then let's say we want to insert it at index one with a new value.
and there you go. That inserts it instead of replacing like put Elm. So just a note, Strux and Elixir are built on top of tuples, but they provide additional features like compile time checks. But we'll dive more into Strux in another video. So keep in mind that tuples aren't ideal for collections that change often. Every change means creating a new tuple. And that's, that's a basic intro to tuples in Elixir. They're key for structured data and are used in various patterns throughout Elixir. So experiment inside the shell and I'll see you in the next video.